Today a Halo YouTuber is going to tell you why you shouldn't be playing Halo Infinite. Man, my cat ears look so dang good. So, it's probably you're like, what are you talking about? You're clickbaiting me, Kevin, when it comes to this topic. And no, I'm not. Like, I legitimately would say I can give you a reasons why you shouldn't be playing Halo Infinite right now. But it's not just because, like, OMG, game bad, I hate everything, everything's the worst right now. It's because, honestly, a lot of times with a game, you can wear yourself out to where every little thing will annoy you. But that's not just like gaming, it's just like human nature in general, where if you do something enough times that every little thing will start to annoy you and make your experience just not a fun one at all. Which is something, obviously, we, we play games to alleviate stress and give ourselves a reason why to just, you know, be stressed for a bit for the day, you know, because obviously things just happen throughout the day where like things can just be a little bit much. So why add extra stress to your day to play a game that honestly, it's not giving you that in type of enjoyment. Lots of times it's actually great to just take a week off. Sometimes like a month off. It depends how you're feeling about the game, man, because obviously we all see it that Halo it's not in the greatest state that it should be in, you know? I mean, it's getting better, but it certainly could be a Worse, so my biggest suggestion for you would either take a break or play something else. I mean, there's lots of really, really great games out there because I am terrible at this game apparently dying like that. And also right now, like with the ping fluctuation issue that it's that's currently going on with the game, that it's going to be you know, a bit of time until we see if it actually figures out. Now, 343 did state they are looking to update the server to so hopefully fix the ping fluctuation issue on the 6, which we certainly will cover a lot. But like just to start off this game, my game started out in with like an 80 ping server connection and now I'm on like mid 60s for whatever reason. I didn't move. According to 343 servers, I moved a lot, <laughs> you know. Oh, here we go. So like, for example, I love playing Ranked Halo Infinite, but I just don't really feel like playing Ranked Halo Infinite because of the current server situation and how you can be playing a game and it go anywhere from 60 to 120 to 40 to 80. And a lot of things in between. So how am I supposed to, you know, take the time to actually get better at the game when the game itself is not getting better? Let me know in the comments section, guys, what, what are you guys playing outside of Halo Infinite? Because I would like to see what you guys are also playing. Because we all know that if you're watching this channel, guys, most likely you are a diehard Halo fan. That you love, like, Halo information and content and stuff like that. And that you wanted Halo Infinite to basically be your everything game. You want it to have the best campaign, the best possible force, the best multiplayer, and everything in between. Because we've all experienced those aspects of Halo being at its peak. We just thought that after the learnings that 343 would have had with this game franchise, that they would be like, okay, we, I think we know what to really do to make this game great. And they did a lot of things that were really great for this franchise. But obviously we're just not quite there right now when it comes to the quality of the game for it to really stand out as being like an exceptional Halo experience. But I've actually kind of like chilled out a little bit on my playtime when it comes to playing Halo Infinite. And I decided to be terrible at the game. Joking aside, I mean like actually like jump off and play some other kind of stuff out there. You know, that's also kind of the reason why I've kind of focused my channel around non-gameplay related things because, well, I know I'm, I'm never going to be able to put the time in that some of these other legends can to be so incredibly good at the game as well. Also gives me a little more freedom to play what I want when I'm not creating content, which is a nice change of pace, a nice ease of mind kind of thing for me. By the way, for your information, my ping is now down into 55 range where it started out at 85. So uh, apparently I'm getting better. Apparently the ping is getting better, but maybe not necessarily my gameplay. But in the meantime, I'm enjoying some other games out there that have actually been pretty fun experiences. Like I've been playing a new Call of Duty game. I know how dare I as a Halo player play Call of Duty. Oh my gosh. But you know what? Modern for 2 is actually a pretty sweet game, not gonna lie. I've been playing some Cyberpunk 2077 as well, slowly making my way through that. I'm always really bad at finishing single player games. Oh, this guy's gonna get it. You're gonna get it. And he did. Oh, that was a quick little snappy shot. I love this controller, by the way, that, that I got here from uh, Hex Gaming. Sent me to send me a controller here. And their stuff is actually really good. The Hex Gaming are basically a company that modifies the real deal controllers for PlayStation or Xbox, and they make it into whatever you'd like. You can choose a decal, your colors on the joysticks, like, like literally every aspect of the controller, you can decide what you want to look like to have your ultimate gaming experience. The controller that they sent me is the Ultra X controller. Now the really cool thing about this, it has these paddles on the back, right? As you would expect any 
good controller to have. The thing is though, you can have six different profiles you can remap these paddles to. And it's all color coded on the back. So all you need to do is just double tap the button, change the color profile, completely different remapping for those back buttons. And since this is a high-end gaming controller, you also have the concave or convex sticks you can have in your controller. And you can also have the long or short versions. Personally, I like the long version right there on my right stick. It gives me a little bit extra travel distance so I can have a little bit higher sensitivity. You can even adjust the triggers on it. My triggers on this are like basically pressing a button. It's not even like a trigger pull anymore. And I love that. So if you guys want to check out Hex Gaming yourself, well, check out the pinned comment here, here in the video or in the description to get yourself 5% off when you use my code KevinCoolX at checkout. Plus I get a little kickback and help support the channel. But let's get right back into those details. So the controller might help your gameplay, but the, you know, the game still needs a way to get better. As you can see right now, my ping is at 66. So I apparently have gained 10 extra ping somehow from just playing the game. Here's this guy right here, there we go. And then, you know, like I said, playing Call of Duty recently has been actually been a nice breath of fresh air for me since I've been so focused on playing Halo that it's kind of made loosen the fun of playing games in general, to be honest. And so, oh God, that guy got me real good. So just being able to kind of find a game that I can just like hop on and play casually is like such a breath of fresh air, just mentally when it comes to sticking to playing Halo for so many years and so many hours, you know? Now it's Marvel for two, like oh, amazing Call of Duty game. I mean, I say it's pretty dang good, but I don't think he ever fully recaptured the glory days of the Modern Warfare to Black Ops 2 days all over again. Also a great thing about what Call of Duty has done with their games that they are, there's a lot of things you can do with this game. Like you got Warzone, you got the 6v6 multiplayer, you have the pretty good campaign as well on top of that. There's a lot of different things that this game has going for it. I think, honestly, Modern Warfare 2 is kind of a good example of like how they'll launch a game with a good amount of content where you can jump in and play something every day and have something to do. Oh, that guy's gonna get me pretty good here. Oh, I know about jump spots, baby. Oh my god. <laughs> I <couldn't... laughs> he just lay prone in the middle of the rookie map and I just could, could not hit him. Oh, that was just... I'm not even mad about that. That was all me on that one. That's like a kind of thing too, but like when you play a game more casually, you get less upset about like player behaviors too. Like if that was like a Halo, if it was in Halo, I got cheesed on like that. Like I would be pretty salty because I know like I play this game so much, I should be doing so much better kind of stuff. But with Call of Duty, I'm just going to be just kind of playing it socially. I, well, one, I know the skill-based matchmaking is going to make it whatever experience they want me to have. So it's kind of out of my hands to really do that well. As you can tell, we just lost. Oh, we're playing Shoot House next. This is going to be chaos, man. <laughs> oh, that's a good start. There we go. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, I got him with the drill charge. Let's go get wrecked, camper. <laughs> <laughs> That's one thing that I love about this game. Like now they have things like the drill charge, which basically the perfect like anti-camper device. Woo, you got wrecked there, buddy. I saw that shadow, buddy. Don't act like I didn't, you weren't around here. But like I said, like just it's it's very healthy also when you're coming to your gaming habits. So just like mix it up, play something else, or just have a different hobby besides one game, one mode, one thing. So then this really is just kind of general life as well where like if you do one thing over and over again eventually there's gonna be something you'll just end up just getting sick and tired of every little aspect of it oh don't kill me and he did especially since we're all kind of just waiting around for halo infinite to get into that state that we all want the game to be because you know halo used to be like the everything game where it literally had everything you'd ever want to do in a video game in one package which is one of the benefits of halo as a franchise but also a bit of a curse for the franchise as well because it just creates so many sub communities that they have to try to please all at the same time and everyone's things where not everyone can be happy with how the game plays out you know like your forge guys had to wait basically an entire year just to get the aspect of halo into the game which is crazy to think about got that guy too let's go but yeah, they say like when you're just playing a game more socially, especially if it's just kind of like your game where you're just like, I'm just gonna hop on and blow stuff up. And that's about it. You kind of not get so invested with how well the game plays out. Like, like you kind of just like start appreciating more of what it has to offer for you. And that's kind of me right now with Call of Duty. Oh my God, we're slaying it right now, dudes. We're slaying it. Let's get that. Oh yeah, baby. Oh, as soon as we got our cruise missile though. All right, let's see if we can get some good kills with this thing here. All right, here we go. Drop it in hot. Oh, okay, I get you. 
But trust me, like, I'm always going to be wanting to... Oh, gosh! Oh! <laughs> that drill bit. I was trying to make a point, and then all of a sudden there's a drill charge kind of... for my head. I'm trying to make a point here, man. This map is freaking crazy. But basically, I'm just trying to say that, like... You can end up trying to also appreciating more of what you have with the previous games, so you like, with Halo. And so then you're not... So when you go back to play, you're like, you know, you know what? It's actually not that bad. That you realize what other games are not doing as well. Oh my god, like me being able to survive more than five seconds to just make a freaking commentary. I hear Jesus Christ. Oh my gosh, it's just like I'm telling you guys the spots. <laughs> what is going on with this map, man? Dude, I am just cannot get even out of the spawns on this side. This guy's able to waltz right through the middle of the map and no one's gonna do anything about it. Come on, man. Like, I'm spawning. Just like, let me breathe for a second. <laughs> That's one thing that uh, Halo definitely does a lot better than Call of Duty. It's like, you actually have a chance to breathe when you spawn. Like, the squad based spawning system that's in this game is. It's alright. It certainly could be a lot better. But it also could be fun to kind of learn a new game, new, learn a new skill set when it comes to your games, and sometimes those skill sets can transfer over to other games as well. Like, for example, I talked about it in a previous video when I posted like a Battlefield video. Oh my god! This guy brought a knife to a gunfight and wins. Look at this man. Look at it. Oh my gosh. What I'm trying to say is that a lot of times, uh, you play one game, you can actually develop new skill sets that transfer over to another game. For example, like I said, I was talking about Battlefield, where it actually helped me be a better vehicle player in Halo, because I realized, like, you know what, you actually have to be kind of defensive with your vehicle play, especially in Battlefield, that I started doing that in Halo, and, like, my tank gameplay and Warhawk gameplay became so much better. Like, once I realized, like, you know what, we gotta make sure we control the rockets, we gotta make sure we control the Spartan laser, and all that other kind of stuff that... You can't just like act like you have a power weapon and just run into the everything, which definitely vehicles in Halo can be like that. But you definitely need to play smart. You know, you can't just do whatever you want. You know, the match is coming close. Oh god, there's somewhere behind me! No! No! <laughs> dude, this guy, Mr. Destroy Knock, just he just has it out for me, dude. I swear he because I'm not super invested, I didn't really care about that death, but it just makes it more wacky and fun. And look at that. Walk away with the win. Right? Why not? Sure. So to round this whole commentary back, basically what I'm saying is like, take a step back, breathe, not take things so seriously. So then when you do come back to your game, it's a much more enjoyable experience, especially since we now have some, have some updates coming around, things are really turning around for Halo Infinite. Like now's a good time to kind of try a branch out and play some other things, but once the game is in a great state that we want it to be in, well, you'll be ready, ready to jump back in. If you want to check out some other content from me, check out this video right here that YouTube suggests that you'd probably like. Trust me, it'll be a good one.